Hello, and welcome back to KMP. And today, I'll be showing you how to make your very own 3D models into your own two-dimensional blueprints. And I hope you enjoy! Alright, so for this tutorial, little shorty right here is going to act as our mascot, or uh, our little kind of uh, example here. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to delete the current camera, um, and I'm going to bring it back in later, but right now we can leave it as B. And we could just, you know, convert this to like a grease pencil, but then you got to delete all this stuff. And I actually tried that and the results were not very good, or at least um, a lot worse than what could happen if I did it this way, which by the way is a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the render properties and uh, we are going to use a render engine that is very rarely ever used and if you click on here it's called workbench so i'm just going to click on this render engine right here and then i can go to the rendered view and you can see that everything looks uh pretty bad honestly but um Right here, under the lighting, it's currently set to, set to studio, and I want to change it to flat. And then right here, this color thing is going to pop up, and the one I want is going to be single. Now, with the single, I want to change this to the solid black right here. And this is where I'm going to go to the world properties and under viewport display, the color is going to come down to solid black as well. And now I'm going to go right up here and I'm going to turn off the show overlays. And uh, now we can't see anything. The entire screen is pitch black basically. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go right down here to options. And this is what we want, this little checkbox called outline. And you can see nothing happened, but if we go to the color, I'm going to turn it all the way up to white. And now you can see that we have blueprints. See, you know, it's all laid out for us. It's completely perfect. And you could do this if you want black blueprints. You know, you could convert it to white if you have that kind of editing software, but I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for you guys and I'm gonna do it a little bit of a different way. I'm just going to switch these around. I'm gonna change this to white and this to black, and then I'm going to go to the world properties and change it to white. And now we have our blueprints right here. The only problem with this is that it's very, very faint, okay? And we can change that with the compositing, but now I'm gonna have to add my new camera right here, just for the moment. And so I'm gonna hit Shift A, and I'm gonna select the camera, then I'm gonna hit Control, Alt, and then number pad zero to dial this in. And then now we want it to be orthographic, so I'm going to go right down here to the camera data properties. And under the lens, the type, I'm going to change this to orthographic. And then the orthographic scale, I'm just going to drag this down until this matches right here. And now what we want to do is we're going to do the compositing. So. Now I'm going to go up here to the compositing tab and you can see that nothing's right here but if I go up here and click on use nodes then these two come up, the render layers which is basically the original and the composite which is the composited image. 
and you can see right here in the render layers there's nothing in here that's because we haven't rendered our scene out yet so i'm gonna go right up here to render and click on render image or i can just hit f12 and now this is all rendered out it'll go really fast so i can just click out of this and um re-click on this and then i'm gonna hit control shift and click on the render layers and that's gonna bring up a viewer node and um if this doesn't work then that's because you don't have the node wrangler add-on enabled so you can just go to the edit preferences and add-ons and search for a node and the one that I want is the node wrangler. So just enable that and then control shift and click on the render layers. And now what you want to do is I'm just going to click on this little corner here until the arrow appears and I'm going to just drag this down. Uh, and then we can hit V to make this smaller or alt V to make this bigger. And I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to search for a bright slash contrast. And I'm just going to drop this in right here. And then I'm going to take the image output and put it into the composited image. And then you can see that nothing's happened. And that's because I'm going to click on this bright and I'm going to change it to negative 40. And then the contrast, I'm going to change this to 80. And now you can see that you have a much more contrasty image. And that is what we want. So now I want to get this um, all saved up. So I can just hit F12 again and that'll render everything out. And I can go to image and you can just save your image to wherever you want. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to make this all a bit brighter and make it look less gray. All right, so I'm just using Paint 3D right here. You can use any editing, uh, photo editing software that you have, but I'm gonna just drag this plane right into here and let that load up and now i want to just go to the fill brush and change this to solid white and then i'm gonna do what you probably expect i'm gonna turn all of this white and now you have a pretty decent blueprint and what you can do is just you know, slapped this on here. I'll call this weird plane. Boom. I don't think I even spelled weird right. I didn't. Anyway, but you get the point. Uh, it is an easy way to make your own planes into blueprints. And the only thing that you need to do to uh, like change the view is come out of here and like just move it right here or like right here and then this thing and then just move it over here and drag this out and then you know you have this now and all you have to do is drag it into your editing software and make everything a lot whiter. Which shouldn't be too hard, right? Shouldn't be too hard to make something white. Because, um, yeah. I don't know any way to make this completely white in Blender. If you do know a way, comment down below because that would be great. But yeah, that is how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more content like this. See you in another video. Bye.